This is actually going on the archive. So this really is pure chat. What did we have? So we had a donkey, bloomers, custard book. Fuck. Yeah, he recorded. I remember to record. I kept, like, going to record and getting confused with what I was doing. Because I haven't been recording anything the last couple of days, really. I did record at Pokemon Snap. Pure chat. Pure chat. I saw that. Intertwined dragons. You know, I'm beginning to pick up a bit of a theme about this place. It's a dragon sanctuary. Lady Ramkin's Dragon Sanctuary. Brimstone deliveries at the rear. Did I say before that Sybil Ramkin's probably my favourite character? Just feeding my little darlings now. Do come around the back. All right. Dragons. Oh, hello again. You're at the hairdressers. I'm sure that's meant to be Aaron. I'm Lady Ramkin. Do mind the doo-doos. Aye? Well, if you don't, the doo does what it does. It does? It does. What does it do? It does. Well, it does the dirty. The doo-doos, I mean. <laughs> It can be dodgy, ducking doodos. If there's any carbon Beautiful. on your feet, you could be history and geography. Dragon droppings are rather unstable, even explosive. That's what the boots are for. Can't go tracking this sort of thing in the house. It eats through the rugs. And the foundations, actually. Oh, yes, yes. I'll be careful. Some sort of constable, are you? Hey. Well, your hat. It's very She grand. marries some vibes of the um, no, city not watch. Exactly. Um, I'm a wizard. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm afraid I don't have much to do with men. Dragon fancier, are you? All right, see you later, Travis. Run that bit about men past me again. Oh, well, I've just never... There's never... Well, dragons have taken up most of my time, really. I've never really got the hang of... Boys. You know, boys and everything. Let's not mention dragons. I've had a bad day. On earth was that bang? Oh no, there goes another one. 
poor little mite. He was one of my best breeders, too. There he goes. Off. He's gone off. It's the flames, you see. It's all in the digestion. The more combustible the food they eat, the more powerful the flame. Really? Now and then, one of the little beggars overdoes it and sets himself off. Rather nasty, really. Uh. Dragon innards are so hard to shift from the ceiling. Do they all explode? Well, what they're trying to do is modify their digestion to create hotter flames. If they could only approach evolution more scientifically, they might do better. As it is, the species needs an awful lot of looking after. Is a self-detonating, toxic, defecating house pet really going to catch on? Yes. Well, there's the excitement of breeding, pedigree lines and all. Yeah, and you can watch them all blow up afterwards. Yes, it's hard. You get so fond of them. I give the members of one family line the same name, and then just attach a number on the end. It makes it less heart-wrenching to lose one, then. That was Mambo the 15th, who just detonated now. Mambo? Sadly, his son is a bit of a disappointment. Oh? Yes, he's a runt. Mambo the 16th will probably never survive to breed. Aww. He's too small to fly, and dragons mate on the wing, don't you know? Still, he's a romantic little soul. Mambo number 15. A real charmer to the ladies. Ladies? Well, lady dragons. He's always doing little mating dances. Quite the little show off, really. Dragons? Where? All around you, young man. Swamp dragons. The only kind of dragon that normally exists, of course. They're quite lovable. Are you a member of the Dragon Protection Society? Protection Society? My dear woman, there's a dragon out there that is bent on burning this whole city to the ground. Yes, poor thing. Poor thing. It's usually the owner's fault, you know. Run that bit about men. Oh, I've well, I'll catch you later then. Hmm. Yes, I won that at last year's Swamp Dragon Breeders Show. Poor old Reginald Lampwick Ponchinbury the Third. He just up and exploded with excitement at the time. Pity, really. I have a feeling you've got to sneak this. Oh, yeah. Yes, I won that at last year's Swamp Dragon Breeders Show. Oh, she's Pitty still there. Room. Sure, this is how you do it. Mambo number five is a good song. Doesn't work. Doesn't want the molten pile? Mm. There's Mambo. Mm-hmm. 
Can we go in our house? That doesn't work. Hey, we're inside. doesn't work. We've stolen a dragon, guys. Literally stolen a dragon. When you're this rich, garden gnomes are just too Dragon passe. Nap. Dragon nap. He let us in. If you need a nap, go for a nap. I already have one of those. I have one of those. That doesn't work. Clatchian cactus juice. With something wriggling inside. We don't really need one. Do you get any heroes in here? Oh, I hate them. Always in here, flexing their muscles, strutting about in the posing pouches. Posing pouches? Yeah, God knows what they're keeping them. <laughs> he just wanted to play on words a bit. Fair enough. Hmm, hairy, malodorous. It's a fair guess that this is the barman. Sorry, I skipped that. Hmm, it's oh, a fair just press it Barkey, again. a drink. Drink. Clanchian cactus juice. Hang on, sir. I'll just have a look. It's there on the shelf. Yes? Sorry, sir. Just increasing the dramatic tension. Cactus juice, ill quench you. Don't cactuses actually give you water? Frick. Aha! Crocus gittus, or the common old huh. garden boring old codger. It's him! M -m old, um, old, uh, what's his face? Uh, uh, the hero. Him? A hero? I still say you're wrong. It's hundreds to Some one that can. a little wimp like him could take out a dragon. Where's your friend gone now? He's dead. Slumming. Slumming. What, is that him in the grave? He's only shamming. Some of them are filled with stuff that can poison you and burn your skin. Wow. Flowers. I really think you ought to call a doctor or something. I think he might be quite ill. 
No, don't play along with it. It'll only encourage him. It's like talking about Rowan. As heroes, I mean real bona fide heroes, don't you think there's something bona fide. useful you should do? Do? Are we invited to a do? Hmm. Oh, do. Take action. Fight against oppression, that sort of thing. Long time since I last went to do. There was custard, I remember. Custard! And sausages on poles. Oh, I love sausages on I poles. Mean, shouldn't, shouldn't we all band together against the dragon? A band? Are they having a band as well? Canopies. That's what they call them. Stuck in a pineapple. Very cultured. I wonder if we're invited. No. What can you tell me about heroes? I want cocktail sausages now on a pole. With can we tell you pineapple about and cheese. Or what? Yes, indeedy. Can we what? What? Can we what what? Tell him about heroes. Oh, did anyone ever watch the what what's? Oh, oh yes. The uninvited yeah, twice. Yeah, I do is over. The first this is the after party for only the core cool people. Is look right. Can't have shoddy looking heroes, can we? No, indeedy. Now, the most important thing for your aspiring hero is a posing pouch. Oh, Just pouch. the thing for attracting young maidens. Yes, indeedy. Oh, indeedy me. The bigger the better. That's what I always say. The Welsh one said. Just ignore him. You need a big posing pouch. I really do think we ought to get organised about this dragon. Le dragon. Quite right. Absolutely. But I told him you won't find one around here. The city's built on loam, you see. You've got to go up to the mountains to find them. Find what? What, what are you talking about this time? <laughs> uh, rocks. Uh, you, you need a rock. A rock and some bombs. Or stocks. I've got some 10% stocks in a company somewhere. Can't say I want a dragon to eat them, though. Yeah, no sharecropping here. A virgin tied to a rock tied to a rock. You have to have it. It's tradition. Why is tradition so important? Well, sacrifice Sean, then. Because Put human on beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Why? Because human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. <laughs> Why? Because. Because human beings are essentially we're repetitive creatures. Guys, we're going to be here for forever. Why? Uh, because uh, human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Why? Why? Uh, because uh, human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. I'll give in. You've got more practice at this than me. I wanted to stay here for like you ten minutes get to doing my it. age without being open to old ideas. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. All right. What are you selling this time? Weight loss, sir. Weight loss. I beg your pardon. Feeling like a bucket of lard, sir? Like the proverbial ambulatory what's name? Whale? Look, what are you selling this time? Just get it over with. It's the Leecho Suction Weight Loss Program, sir. Guaranteed to turn a hippo into a nymph in just one year or your money back. Let me guess. You're proposing using leeches to suck out someone's fat. Beauty can be yours while you wait, sir. Leeches? That's what I need. The leeches. Then I'll get my um, sugar daddy. What, sir? It drinks blood. It doesn't gobble up cellulite. A little leech can't make you lose any weight. Depends how much blood it takes, sir. You'd be surprised. It's all guaranteed. Lose weight in one year or your money back. Here, have a leaflet. It says here that the management reserves the right to define one year according to any local calendar it sees fit. That's right, sir. 
but the true Melian calendar year is 311 months long. Really, sir? Well, look, seeing as how you're a friend, I'll do you a discount. I'm cutting my own throat, but... Look, I don't need a weight loss system. Have you thought about the future, sir? I mean, you could remove weight now and store it for use in the future. Could cut down on grocery bills, sir. That's what we need. No, I don't think that's very practical. This is what we need. Well, our medical practice now offers a variety of other services and cures, sir. I've got wart treatments, rheumatism. Here's a potion guaranteed to cure blindness. But I'm not blind. You see, sir, a miracle cure. You're not fooling anyone, you know. Oh, well, sir, perhaps we can do business in the future. Ah. Can you tell me about that leecho suction thing again? Care for one, would you, sir? Cut price, I'm cutting my own throat. Okay then, couldn't do any harm. As if I haven't had enough exercise of late. I got leeches. See you later, Shazzy. Have good sleeps. These two morons. That doesn't work. I was just wondering. What is it now? Don't listen. Don't listen. Well, it's about this leecho suction thing. Are you going to pay the balance you owe or what? What leecho suction? Our patented new fat removal system. Your friend here put a down payment on for a treatment for your wife and we need to collect the balance. You backstabbing little... Don't listen. It's a lie, just like all the other times. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, thanks, pal. Uh, no offence. No, no, none taken. Oh, good. So, do you want this leecho suction or what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Clearly, I'm dealing with inferior intellects, which is quite hard to do in my case. That doesn't work. Oh, I see. Sort of a draconic calling card. doesn't work. It's all very simple. Try, try to understand. The new tax is per head. 
or as the lawyers say, per capita. If you don't like per capita, I can happily arrange de capita instead. De the same capita. goes for you. In a democracy, everyone gets treated the same. That doesn't work. You know, it's rather hard to find a decent back scratcher these mm. days. Hello, who's this? The damn thing's occupied. What is the sound? They usually are. Hey. What in Opla's name are you doing here? Slumming. Or shall I release you? No, no. The quota system's gone all to hell, so we're working on something new. Pre-serving our prison time. Pre-serving prison time. You see, the average thief's prison sentence is about two years, but only one in ten thieves actually gets caught. Therefore, if we all spend 2.4 months in jail, that clears everybody of their social debt. Nice. I don't know why the tax is being cut off. It's all very logical, you see. Patrician's idea. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Patrician's so, very logical how's about thinking. This thing? Yes, I thought it was extraordinary myself. Apparently, a high low pressure system has been moving left across the river valley. Combined with a counterclockwise humidity layer caused by the internal combustion of tree roots. Oh, ah, yeah, exactly. Exactly that. Give me a second. Oh. Stealing all the gold in the kingdom, they said. Pardon? All the gold in the kingdom, it was given to me. Ah! Likely story. Ah! That doesn't work. Looks rather like a mouse hole. Sorry to disturb you. It's all right then. Mouse is talking to us now. <laughs> you caught Chucky. Hello, are you all right? Here, just look what they've got pinned onto my lapel. Chucky 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 Oh Chucky 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 Oh Chucky 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 Ah 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 Oh Chucky Chucky Ch
Yes, hello. Um, so, uh, you're a torturer then? Please, sir. We professionals within the industry prefer the term information extraction technician. A little nicety, sir, that marks an otherwise very old and dignified profession. Always does well to take pride in one's new line of work, sir. So you're new at the job, then? Well, more like a promotion, really. I started off as a tax collector, and it's all the same department. Really? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Hey, don't I know you? No. You! You're one of them! Little darts with scales and big long tails and... F what? Ah! I'm not. I've never even seen you before. Even if they did throw you in the stocks. Ooh. Even if they did throw you in the and stocks. And someone might have been throwing tomatoes at you, but it, it wasn't me. Hey, I threw tomatoes at him. Ah, oh, right, well, good. Because I'll tell you what, I'd have been ever so cross if you had been. Anyway, can I help you with anything, sir? A bit of torture on account? Something off the ears? No, no, thanks. Just, uh, I'm just window shopping. <coughs> Aha! Now this is interesting. I always do torture window shopping. Oh. Always. Um. Sorry about that. Where did I get? Oh, what a bone. That doesn't. Where did my luggage go? Luggage? Yeah, I put him on a lead. Get out of here because the sound is getting on my nerves.
Hey Gracie, how's it going? Pretty hard to burn bold hot dogs. I want the frog. The frog. <laughs> Smirky frog. No, it's not Nanny Hog. So Watch out, dearie. Eek. Eek. Is it much of a living being a witch? Actually, business hasn't been going all that well. I've lost my custard making book, and I used to sell the most irresistible custard. That was my really? fault, I stole it. Well, it was a bit of a cheat. I used to put love potion in the custard. You couldn't help but fall in love with it. So the book's gone. Why don't you try looking in the library? You're such a thoughtful little man. Little? Now come over here and sit on your old nanny's trick knee. Eek! Let's not do something we'll regret, shall we? How about you a kiss for old nanny? Eek! Madam, try not to remember who you are. Somehow, I didn't think your hobby would be knitting. Ooh, I'm a devil for it. It's pretty hard to do, though. My cat, Grebo, keeps playing with the wool, the little scamp. Be careful if you go near him. He's not very happy about no, men in dresses. It's not a dress. It's a robe of occult power. It's got sequins. I happen to like sequins. They happen to give a very nice occult sparkle, all right? Sparkly sparkles. Madam, control yourself. I'm an accredited wizard. Well, you know what they say about men with big hats? I, d I don't want... Really? What is it they say? They've got big heads. <laughs> oh. True. Right, well... Don't be a stranger. Cheers. We're in her house. Nanny Ogg's inheritance accelerator. Why wait for the rest of their life? Nanny Ogg's special corn remover and passion potion. Must be for those with a foot fetish. <laughs> hmm. What do we have here? Nanny Ogg's patent lie remover. Removes unsightly untruths. Leaving behind just the odd white lie. Don't move suddenly. She can smell fear a mile away. <laughs> Don't look. Oh. Don't move suddenly. Don't look. Just keep calm and everything's going to be okay. Watch out, dearie! Eek! Eek! Ah, about your patented lie remover potion. It's my special truth potion. Aha! Uh -huh. Um, could I borrow some? I'll only let you have some in return for a kiss. And this time, I'll be keeping my eyes open, so I will. This time? No! <laughs> my, my. Ah, about 
the truth potion? Here, take it. Oh, my, my. It's not Nanny Og. She didn't specify it had to be for me. She could have kissed the um, luggage. Nanny Ogg was a lovely woman in the um, in the book. To be honest. <laughs> She had many children in the book. If you didn't guess, she's a witch, by the way. Just in case you didn't get it. Nanny Og has a banjo. Didn't miss the extra pickles, no. She played a banjo and she would be found in the bar with a mug of beer. She lived in the middle of um, a village in Lankra. She uh, didn't live in a forest. Nanny, uh, Granny Weatherwax lived in a forest. I wish they didn't shut doors. Welcome back, Bar. Akbar's back, Bar. <laughs> Need a pickle command. What would even the pickle command look like? Then head just steps in the drum again. Broken drum. Pickles. What do you want a pickle command to do? Agree. I was asking Akbar. I mean, Kaiser can answer as well if she wants to. Quimo, obviously. That's what we need. We need to get the market on the pickle emotes. Well, that could be it.
Hopping. Cold again. No, I can't have a hug. I can't have a load of hugs. No cooldown for me. Travis isn't even here for me to ban you. He can't ban you, you're a mod. greatest hero of our age the one the only the invincible why are you what? hugging Tony I'm important me I can't just yeah, bear out answering any old greeting you know and then he banned me in the end well, how would you prefer I greet you then well shoving a pint in me hand would be nice I'm Flea Bart the Incredible greatest thief in the multiverse I've survived everything I fought the ant god of quacks and he <sighs> doesn't even exist. I already feel tired. And I don't even I know why I feel the tired. Of the scantily clad, amazingly well hairstyled Amazon women. I've even escaped from the temple of Ophla, from which no other man has returned in fewer than three pieces. I don't believe a word of this. No, he's. Oh well, no, we can still see huh. Mo. Huh. He's in Tom Street. You Tom's dare streams. to doubt the greatest hero of our age? I'm known all up and down the river, I am. The river? Yeah. The river Ank? Isn't that a little dangerous? You have to watch out for all the goiters and the yours. Yours? What's yours? Mine's another pint, thanks. Then there was the time I blah, both blah, blah. Barky, a drink. No, I just had a very rough day. Egad, look, a picture of the Gold Cup winning rooster at the Clatchian Animal Crooning Competition. May I draw your attention to the picture of the award-winning pig from the Ankmore Pork Pork Butcher's Guild Ball? Makes you sleepy. Yes, that certainly is something. But what about that picture of the special merit medallion winning cockatrice from the Wildlife Preservation Society's award ceremony for recently extinct species? None, however, can quite, to my mind, match the magnificence of that blue ribbon winning sheep from the uh, Followers of Offler Sacrificial Lamb competition. Yeah, that was the one. Right, drink up. Ha! Got you at last. Got me? How? But, but, there's nothing I can tell you. It's, 
It's all lies. I, I'm a weasel. <laughs> Nothing but a weasel. A sniveling, no good, lying little we. Yeah. Now look. So, just long and brown and lying, with words and stuff. Now look, you. Tell me about the Temple of Ofla. It's in the jungle, over a gorge. Any map will show you. I just feel very sad. I've got the sads now. I might go and have my shower actually. I was going to stream for a bit longer but... I don't feel very happy at the minute. I'm not being very entertaining when I'm not happy. 